powered by the Montana Television Network. This is the 530 News from Montana's News Leader. Thanks for joining us this Sunday evening. I'm Elizabeth Transu. In February, the United Methodist Church took a national vote to uphold a ban on gay clergy and same-sex marriages. Many churches across the country are speaking out in regards to the vote, even right here at home. Karen Oliveto, the bishop who leads Methodist churches in the Northwest, just so happens to be the church's first openly gay female bishop. They recognized in her that she had the spiritual gifts and graces and the leadership to be bishop. When the vote to uphold a ban on gay clergy and same-sex marriages happened in February, churches in Great Falls took to social media. In fact, two local congregations spoke out against the move. So there's a lot of pushback in our, in our particular jurisdiction and in this conference. Uh, over the decision. First United Methodist Church Reverend Jeff Wakeley says the decision was a result of a disagreement that dates back to 1972. The idea was to press upon the conferences that they could not ordain gay clergy. The second plan was the um, was the, what was called the One Church Plan, which allows for each conference and jurisdiction the latitude to make the decision for themselves. He says that because this religion is so widely practiced, different jurisdictions have different interpretations of church doctrine. We're much more open to inclusion of LGBTQ in the Western jurisdiction compared to, say, the South Central, where uh, they're much more conservative in that way. Wakely says it's not a new problem, and like many religions, Methodism is struggling to adapt to today's norms. All churches are dealing with the fact that we're always one step behind culture. Okay? And so some people say, look at what the culture does and say, oh my God, we gotta, we gotta protect ourselves from the culture. We gotta protect people from what's happening in the culture. But rather than resisting new lifestyles, Wakely says he's going to embrace them. While his congregation has lost members due to their stance, he doesn't plan on turning anyone away. We have several gay couples in our congregation uh, who are in committed, have been in committed relationships. And whatever is done at the general conference level is not going to keep us from doing what we do. And in this particular church, uh, First United Methodist here in Great Falls, is we are an inclusive church. And by that, everybody's welcome. Reverend Ginny Bettendorf of Christ United Methodist Church in Great Falls says that all are welcomed at her church and that love is love is love. Westside United Methodist Church in Great Falls has not yet responded to our request for comment.